a world exclusive with Florida Congressman Greg Stubbe. And there have been stunning stateside developments in the case to make Prince Harry's visa records public after he was granted permission to reside in America despite his open admissions of drug use in his hit job memoir, Spare. So Republican Stubbe has introduced a new act requiring fair enforcement of American visa laws. The cheekily named Spare Act references the Duke specifically with Stubbe writing, left-wing celebrities like Prince Harry, who have a self-recorded history of illegal drug use, should be subjected to the same standards and enforcement of our country's immigration laws as any other alien. So Greg Stubbe, welcome to the show. This act could actually see Prince Harry deported from America, couldn't it? Yeah, I think he's got some challenges to overcome. The first is we don't allow drug abusers into our country. And the second is we don't allow people who lie on their visa application into our country. Uh, so I think he's going to have some challenges either way. The Obviously, the White House and the Biden administration is refusing to give his visa application uh, to the American people. Heritage Action has filed a lawsuit on that, so that'll go through the court process. And if we do, in fact, find out that he lied on that visa application, uh, this bill would prohibit him from being able to stay in the United States. And Greg, what has been the reaction to the SPARE Act on Capitol Hill? Well, everything I've heard has been supportive. Um, we, we have the House. We have the majority in the House of Representatives. Uh, so something like this is is very common sense, very reasonable. Um, it's current law that we don't allow those who abuse drugs to come in and receive visas. And if he lied on his visa application, uh, obviously that's going to be a basis for removal. So he's going to have some challenges to be able to show one way or the other. He's kind of put into a corner. And uh, it'll be very interesting to see how the heritage lawsuit is if we are able to get his visa application and see, in fact, if it was uh, if he did say that he's never abused drugs. And then he obviously has the admissions in his book that he has. And let's just be clear, if he has lied on his application, which let's be honest, common sense makes you think he has. If it were you or you or uh, sorry, or me, any normal person, there's no way you'd be allowed to stay in the country, is there? Because American uh, home, uh, American border affairs are very strict on these issues. Well, and that's the whole point. We shouldn't have a different standard for celebrities or anybody else. We should have the same standard regardless of who you are. And this administration is obviously allowing a different standard and refusing to actually give the application. If there's nothing to hide, why not give us the application when it's been requested? Um, so that that's kind of the basis of this. If you or I were to have lied on our visa application or been abusing be drugs, out. then we would have been able to come yeah. into the United States. We'd be out. But Congressman, isn't the reality here that Prince Harry knows he is protected by President Biden. And you'll know that Meghan and Harry actually broke all royal protocols by actually campaigning for Biden against Trump at the last election. Yeah, exactly. I mean, he's certainly become very political and uh, to to change the rules for people that support President Biden just because they want to allow him to come into the country in violation of our immigration laws is certainly not the way that it should go. So there should be a fair process, regardless of who you are, regardless of where you come from, it should be applied equally under the law. And at some point, we're going to get to the bottom of it. If Heritage's lawsuit is successful, we'll know exactly what that mm -hmm. visa application says. And if it's uh, dishonest or lying to the American people and to the American public about what that says, I think there's going to be a lot to say there. In reality, though, there's very little chance of Prince Harry being deported when Biden is president. You are obviously a big supporter of Donald Trump. Uh, do you have any idea how he feels about the Spare Act? Because he has been very outspoken uh, specifically against Meghan Markle in the past. I was with him this past weekend in Iowa. He was campaigning in Iowa and had the opportunity to join him there uh, where he's widely supported and is, is leading in all the polls. Um, we didn't talk specifically about this, but I would guess that uh, given um, Prince Harry's positions on a lot of these things, that he certainly wouldn't be supportive of him. And again, if he's violated the law, we shouldn't have a different standard for certain people than we do for the rest of people in the world. Indeed. Congressman Greg Stubbe. Thank you so much for joining us from Thanks. Florida yep. tonight. Thanks for